So here's the housing market report for Northwest Michigan for the fourth quarter of 18 and what's going on into, into 19. So what we saw overall for 18 was not unique for Northwest, but really for the state of Michigan and most of the country. And we saw a settling of the market. We saw it starting in 17, moving into 19. And that was really because, uh, uh, first of all, there's, there's been a general affordability squeeze in that rate, rates, interest rates have gone up and home values have gone up quite a bit, certainly since the uh, bottom of the recession moving forward. So um, at some point in time, as we said before, at some point in time, housing doesn't tend to leave the economy. It tends to follow. People get jobs, they get raises, and they buy houses and cars. So, um, uh, so we've benefited from the the acceleration of people not buying houses during the recession and now jumping in. And now we're seeing the housing portion of the economy sort of settling in since 2017 to the general pace of the economy, which is not a year over year, six or seven percent appreciation. It's more like a two or three or four percent appreciation. So we had that going into the end of 18 and combine that with interest rates rising. The little bit of economic uncertainty with talks of trade wars and recessions and things that sort of had a consumer pullback. So what we saw in 18 for the first time in a while was a pretty dramatic pullback in housing activity in terms of homes sold and, and activity for Northwest Michigan. And probably more so than, than even other parts of, the, of Michigan. So home sales were off about 10% across most price ranges and, uh, and inventories were rising. And, um, and in, gen in general, we had demand uh, settling. Now, the same factors are still holding what they've been holding for the last couple of years. Under 250, the squeeze in home sales is as much because of lack of supply than it is demand. We just, there just isn't a lot available under 250. And then over 500, we've seen a settling in, in uh, a number of homes sold. That's more a result of supply there, and that demand is, uh, is settling a little bit, but we're having supply growing there, so more choice. But what we're seeing across all price points going into 19, is so we expect inventories to be a little bit higher, so for buyers that means more to choose from, that's a good thing. <clears throat> we can expect interest rates anticipated throughout the year to rise, which squeezes affordability, which probably will pull back demand a little bit. So we expect 19 to be slower, a little bit slower than, than 18. And what we're talking about here isn't a major, even though we had a pretty big shift the fourth quarter of 18, we don't expect 10 or 15 percent drops and significant value drops. We do expect the number of home sales to settle maybe less 5 or 6 percent from the prior year and home values to probably settle flat now. Under 250, particularly in the core Traverse City markets, which tends to be the, the strongest for, for uh, Northwest, uh, we'll still see values rising, just not as fast. Um, in the upper end markets, we'll probably see values flat, in some areas actually declining a little bit uh, for the half million, million above in some waterfront areas. Um, we're seeing values not change too much, and that's typical for the upper end markets, for particularly the high end waterfront. Sellers just don't uh, change their values too much. They kind of wait for the market to move up to them. Um, and that's been, we've seen that uh, all of uh, 17, 18, and we expect that into 19 as well. So, um, so for buyers, expect a few more opportunities. Expect, um, look at those homes that have been in the market for a while, for a while meaning more than 60, 90 days. Um, there are opportunities there. You may have sellers that will be more willing to move for sellers. Particularly as you get a higher price, that old adage of a bird in the hand um, probably goes in that it used to be we, we had the luxury for, as a seller for uh, at least a few years that if the first offer you didn't like, you could wait for the second one. Um, there may be a distance between first and second offers, so you may want to work with that one that you've got to see if it works right for you. Um, <clears throat> there is, however, right now a little bit of an opportunity. Inventories are rising, so buyers have more to choose from and rates have recently dropped. They were up about 1% going into 19 versus a year ago, and that's where that, that uh, demand squeeze happened. But rates have just gone down um, half point, in some cases almost to three quarters of a point. So there's an opportunity for buyers right now, if you've been sitting on the fence, thinking you're gonna get into the market, sell your house and maybe buy another house or just jump in for a first time home buyer. In the spring, 
look at it right now. Don't wait till spring. I know it's a little cold, there's a lot of snow up there, but jump in now because you have inventory and you have lower interest rates and rates are expected to rise. So don't wait. This is the time to start looking and look to see your opportunities. So happy hunting. Thank you.